You mind if I steal about 10 minutes of your time? 10 minutes? Yeah. I ain't got 10. You got five? Uh, no, barely. All right, what you need? couple of questions. How long you been driving for Greyhound? Ooh, I feel like I'm on an interview. Yeah, technically. <laughs> Five years. Five years? Can I get a call for um Indiana, please? Thank you. trucking industry, what do you think new drivers should be aware of? Ooh, ooh, everything. Always grab with two hands. Be safe, that's the main thing. So it, you fall out of a truck, you can break your back. Exactly. Traffic and all that, you, have, you gotta be safe, that's the main thing. Okay. Learn about your money, learn about what you need to, what loads you need to run, and, 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 and make sure you're getting all your money off your run from your company. Don't let these companies, Yes, no. Okay. That's what they want to do. They need to make sure that they want to be away from the home. They ain't not gonna get out on the road and get homesick and miss their families, in which it's an adjustment period to, you know, to do that. Really, what kind of company you're getting with? Not all companies will hire you right off the bat. That's true. And you gotta be careful on who you go through your trucking school with, because if you decide to uh, take a contract with a company that pays for it for you. There, one of their stipulations is going to be you get with one of the major companies. Mm. It's usually the major company that pays it off for you as okay. you work for them. Make sure they have the skill set, the mindset to be a truck driver. It's not like driving a car where you get it running in and out of traffic and stuff. But a lot of the younger drivers, they think it's just like a car and bad things happen. If that company doesn't hire you, then you're stuck with the bill. On average, it's about six grand. Exactly. They don't pay attention. They don't really uh, plan their moves out. I mean, they don't position the truck in the right lane to make a right-hand turn. And number one, when they're taught to drive truck, you look down the sidewalk before you start turning. They don't do it. Mm. All right, getting into the truck, what do you think new drivers should be aware of? Everything, their surroundings. You need to be more aware of their surroundings. Okay. And learn to back up. I got I got a quick that's my next question. When it comes to backing, what advice do you have for new drivers? Learn to follow your trailer wheels. If you can't back up, you're not gonna succeed. Keep watch on your mirrors, know where the fuck you are, and always get out and look, look, look. Yeah, I'm going to see what's back here. So you just say, period. Get out and look and we'll do whatever it takes. When in doubt, get out and look. All right. When you pull into a, your uh, destination or your pickup or your delivery, scope out the whole area. Before you pull into it, get into a situation you can't get out of. Figure out what you're going to do before you ever do it. Exactly. And then once you get set up, get out of the truck, go back and look to make sure that there's nothing in the way, nobody's, you know, walking around by there, and then set up and back up. That's some great advice right there. I usually, when I tell people, like, when I do my videos, I tell people the same thing, like, get out and survey the area. If you feel like if it's a tight area or something like that, at least get out and survey it and make sure that you either have the room or you don't. And if you don't, don't be afraid to ask somebody for help. When it comes to backing, what advice do you have for new drivers? Practice as much as you can. It's, some, it's a skill that even when you're driving, you still need to keep practicing because you will always be in weird situations that you will never understand and know how to practice fixing mistakes. When it comes to backing, what advice do you give the new drivers? Take your time. Okay. Yeah, take your time. Worst thing is, if 
you don't know something and you don't ask questions. You know, uh, like I haul glass. That's a glass trailer. Okay. I go to locations that <laughs> we're backing up. You have to do a lot of blindside backing. You got to. We get into spots that are so tight and backing into inside the buildings, but we have to unload the inside. They got overhead crane. Wow. Well, hey, don't hit anybody. Don't end up on YouTube on bonehead truckers. <laughs> you know, right? What are some items new drivers should have on their trucks? I would say a refrigerator. Always make sure you've got an atlas just in case GPSs aren't invalid. Make sure you have plenty of clothes. Have plenty of water. Have Stay plenty high. of water, a lot of and fruit. You know, if they don't have a refrigerator in their truck, buy electric cooler and put electric cooler in there to keep fruit and stuff like that. Uh, milk, cereal, just something when you get up in the morning to get your metabolism going, to get your energy and stuff up. And don't wait until lunchtime okay. to start eating. When you get up in the morning, eat a little bit. You know, banana, apple, something to get your metabolism going. Common sense. Uh, shop brooms. Say what? Shop brooms. Shop broom. Oh, the, the clean out the... Yeah, to clean out the trailer. Oh, okay. Uh, another one is a pair of gloves. You don't want to get diesel all over your hands. Exactly. Uh, another one is going to be constantly have water with you all the time. Got to stay hydrated. Uh, properly working fridge and a microwave. Well, it's EPS for one. Thank you! Now, now, you're an old schooler. Usually I would expect you to say something like the map, but why would you say GPS? Well, nowadays, GPS uh, tells you how to get there all the short roads, the quick way. Okay. In old school, you get the map out, you draw a line from point A to point B, Try to keep it between your minds. Um, I don't know. That's lacking. There is no common sense anymore. They need to learn what's going on. Here. Uh, carry uh, uh, your toiletries, alcohol, peroxide, uh, foot sprays. You you know what a lot of people is 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 missing though. Uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, a care kit. Uh, Band-Aids, yeah. okay. alcohol, uh, you know, because if they cut themselves or something like that, they, they don't have no way to, yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I keep all that stuff because with this glass, I mean, you, you cut yourself and you don't even know it. I mean, I've cut myself up so many times and feel the blood rip off my fingers and didn't even know I cut myself. Wow. So, I mean, but just carry that kind of stuff, uh, just... You know, carry a lot of socks. You said a lot of socks. Change your socks out every change your, when you, if you can't shower every day, but well make sure you change your socks. Okay. Keep because if you don't take care of your feet, you're gonna be in a world of trouble. Okay, okay. <laughs> now I'm I'm gonna use that one. Underclothes, top clothes can go for a, get an extra day or two. Change your underwear so you don't like have skin issues. What's your overall advice for truckers, new truckers? Um, be patient, take your time, and it'll work out. Don't expect a lot of money, don't expect going home. Take it with a grain of salt. Don't get pissed because you ended up back in the truck you wanted. Or you got a truck that's almost falling apart. Be happy that you have a truck and that you have a career that places. I mean, you got a, you got a CDL now. You got nowhere else to go but up. All right. Pay attention to what company you choose to work for. There's too many taking advantage of new drivers now. They keep them out forever. Don't let them go home. No money. Don't get in a hurry. Don't let people force you to get in a hurry when you're backing up or driving. Uh, just uh, don't run in a pack with other drivers. You know, if, if your truck runs 65, a lot of the trucks run 65, you might run a little bit faster. Don't run in a pack because all it takes is to one mistake for somebody to do one stupid thing and then you're in a lot of trucks. That's what's up. Just be safe.
everybody drives like idiots, and it's not our fault, but it is our responsibility to make sure that we take the time to give the space, expect people to treat you badly on the road. What's your overall advice for new drivers? For new drivers, man, just, you know, take your time, be smart, you know. Uh, be patient. Don't rush. Even when you're late, you're late, just be late. But just don't get no hurt. Okay. You know, you get an accident, you ain't gonna be in a boot. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you. Check me out on YouTube up under Lockout Men. Lock up, lockout Men? Lockout Men. Lemonade. I, I got Is it good? I see you, uh, you drive for Low Shine Parts? Yeah, I used to be with Prime, but... Alright, I see the Prime t-shirt, I yeah. see you representing. Yeah. What, uh, what, what, how is it driving for a Parts Motor Group? Um, I like it, it's a small black-owned company. Um, it's kind of like, uh, they don't BS, like a lot of companies, or like big companies. Um, so yeah, so far I like them. Okay, okay. How did you come across them? Um, my sister actually did. I'm a team driver. And she does all the research and everything. Okay. And so I just go along with her. You say just go along with her. So you and your sister, what, what made y'all get into trucking? Um, I think for her it was either military or trucking. What about yourself? I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> you just said bump it. I just jump on into it, right? Yeah, and I didn't want her doing it by herself. So you went to Prime for your for your CDL? Yeah, we both did. Oh, uh, okay. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much. My name's Lockout Man. Check me out on YouTube. What is it again? Lockout Man. L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N. Okay. All right, thank you.